There is an aura of mystery around director Danny Steinman. Um, he'd made only three films and then quickly disappeared. And among horror fans, most of his films were horror. He was just he just disappeared and only recently came out and did some interviews. Um, his first film he ever directed is called The Unseen. And he actually was so upset with the results of this film due to the editors that he actually had his name removed um, and changed to Peter Folig. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad little horror film. Um, it's a lot like Silent Scream. You know when movies that are popular that come out and there are a lot of times there's a film that follows its footsteps, it's very similar. Uh, in Silent Scream, you know... Uh, college students stay in the house and there's this secret person living in the house and and you know that starts killing him the same thing with the unseen some uh, three beautiful women are staying in this house and there's something in the house with them uh, and uh, it starts killing them off one by one this isn't as good as silent scream um, but uh, it does uh, yeah, and I can see why Donnie Stanton was upset with it, because the editing does, uh, there's some, there could have been two or three really great scares in this movie, but they're ruined thanks to the shitty editing. And Danny Stein, and, um, that's why he had his name removed. And, I, you know, I don't think I would have had my name removed because of it, but that's his personal opinion on that. And But it does star Bob Rabach, one of the most righteous babes, in my opinion. Uh, man, I used to really have a crush on her. Um, this DVD from Code Red Releasing is a two-disc deluxe edition. It was really nice of them to release this. I've heard rumor that this DVD is going to go out of print pretty soon, so if you want it, you better pick it up soon. Um, uh, fans of Danny Steinman, uh, their favorite film of his is Savage Streets, and out of the three films he directed, this is by far the best. This is part of the early revenge film cycles of the early 80s, the the trashy, the sleazy, the grindhouse revenge films, kind of like the Death Wish 2, the Exterminator, Vigilante, Exterminator 2, yeah, if you like, class of 1984, if you like those, you're going to love this, this is one of the best of the early 80s revenge films, uh, it's really, has a good sly sense of humor, some wonderful one-liners, John Vernon, um, from Animal House, he plays a principal. He has a line that just gets me every time. You go fuck an iceberg. And uh, Linda Blair, of course, uh, she was typecasted after The Exorcist. She couldn't get a job to save her life, so she just did these. She was happy just doing these little B movies, and she made some wonderful ones. And this is uh, one of my favorites of her, probably my favorite film of hers of her B movie era. Uh, oh yeah, she shows uh, she shows off her her breasts in this. So people that like nudity, you know. And she goes, uh, her, um, her little sister, uh, played by L Linda Quigley, um, she gets, uh, raped, and then all her friends start get killing off, so she goes out for revenge, and, oh boy, does she ever with that crossbow, wonderful one-liners, really violent, good tongue-cheek sense of humor, uh, one of the best, uh, early, cheesy, early, uh, nasty revenge, 80s era revenge film has to offer. Um, this DVD from BCI Clips is out of print. I picked mine up before it went out of print, and I only picked it up for like 15 bucks at Best Buy, and then now it goes for a shit ton of money, but it's it's worth it, because this is a movie that's worth to pay a lot of money for if you're a cult film fanatic. Then his most seen film is Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Um, this it, a lot of people hate this film, and the reason why is, well, if you're watching this video, I'm going to give away the ending to this. You know the ending. Jason isn't in this. It is a p imposter, and people hate this sequel just for that fact. No, Jason, it fucking sucks. No, 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 okay. Forget that fact. If you forget that Jason isn't the killer in this, this is a really over-the-top, really violent sequel. Oh, actually, there's uh, more killings in this sequel than I believe most of them. There is a shit ton of killings and really brutal ones. Danny Steinman got this job because of Savage Streets. He got the job to direct this, and he brought that trashy style over and just made a, a romp of a slasher film. And I, you know what, you know, it's, slasher films, most of them aren't good. 
and in, in, in most of the films in the Friday, they're, aren't good, but they're still really enjoyable. And I found this one really enjoyable, even without Jason, quote-unquote, killing people. Um, really violent murders, uh, really bloody, and I, hey, I enjoy it. And plus, it has a kick-ass 80s song by Pseudo Echo called His Eyes. <laughs> um, so there you go. I find that to be, an, of course, a bad movie, but underrated. Um, and then... Savage Streets, that's the one you got to pick up by him. And for the more forgiving cult fanatics, The Unseen. Um, Danny Steinman was actually um, going to direct in the 80s uh, Last House on the Left Part.